Okay. Uh, I don't know if you see it, but it's pretty quick, I think. We basically, we've been discussing about uh, the to-do list. Uh, there are some items that are already done, some others are in progress. We already mentioned them yesterday in Baby, uh, which is bas basically making it more robust and it's on the way and should be more or less finished by next week, by the man of the RST of tomorrow. Do you come to the dinner? <laughs> uh, then there's um, several things to do. Uh, the ones we've talked more about are uh, key indicators, which are a complement to business intelligence, not to the reporting stuff we saw yesterday. And, well, there's been a discussion whether it's possible to integrate that or reuse the report definition interface we have currently to implement uh, or support key indicators. In fact, we didn't come to a very clear conclusions. Um, probably somebody has to try it out. Um, there are ideas for adding also colors, so you can configure uh, a dynamic table and say, okay, and if the value goes below a given value, then you um, show it in red or in green, all this stuff. Um, we've talked also about using heavy uh, to generate the aggregation things, the aggregated data. But we would also need probably window functions, which are a way to, um, there was an example. Um, Day. Uh, yes, uh, aggregate data not per year, but until a given date, for example. Okay, so you say all the sales uh, for the first of January, all the sales for the second of January plus the first of January, and uh, the third of January plus the second plus the one. This is currently not possible, and we would need sugar for PostgreSQL window functions. And if we wanted to use heavy for that, uh, I think it's not supported. I don't know if where Nicolas is. I think it was done by him, heavy, is it? Yeah, it's, it's part of the standard. You know, you, we need it in Python SQL first. Yes. And then in her, okay. Um, so well, more work to do, and also consider to use the module country PostgreSQL country extension named table function that uh, Copengo guys already used to for pivoting. Probably also using this to provide um, aggregation on columns, so you can see. Um, sales per <coughs> month on, on each column. Uh, we also talked about triggering notifications and a little bit how those should be probably made generic and try to, to make PKAs, uh, key indicators, launch those triggers when a certain value goes below a given threshold and then send a report or send something else. So. These are ba basically different items that we know we want them together, but we should probably try to generalize each of them um, in order to make them useful. Although we don't want to uh, make a, well, we, we want to make it step by step. Um, and well, some you know, other stuff, but I think it's, that's it. I don't know. I 
think I think you can solve that if you if you create a new report, you duplicate the report. By the way, duplicating currently crashes, but uh, <laughs> uh, probably with your fixes it's solved. Uh, you duplicate the report, and you add a new aggregation le uh, level where you aggregate by ID of the current record, <coughs> and you make the ID uh, many to one or something like that. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's, it could also we could also make the the double click uh, double click when you open the the chart. Also have an option to show me the, the data. You have to link I don't know if there are more ideas, uh, more than ideas, I think we need uh, hand here. So.